pocket. But it doesn't say t-shirt. Hmm? Pocket on dress shirt, nice. Pocket on t-shirt, dumb. What? what are you talking about? No. What you gonna put there? Huh? Stuff. Whatever I have. Lemon packets. A check. <laughs> a check. check. A check. Check. You know you put that in your back pocket. What? Quit playing. No, I put it here. That oh, is that ant- pocket ain't big enough nope, to hold your check. Here. Oh yeah. That is oh, interesting. Yeah. Pocket on a t shirt as valuable as a pocket on a button down. No, button down is where it's at. I'm not against button that. down. I ain't much on button down. I like pockets. pockets. The more pockets you have, the better. What's that? I you don't, don't have to I, wear a backpack. I, I like, disagree. Yeah, I like pocket back. I, I respectfully you know, I like disagree. Pockets. I like pockets. You don't want pockets on a button. You want, down, you but want, you want it on you want a, a pocket to have your pocket knife in. No, I want a pocket on a button down, like a fishing shirt. Yeah. The Columbia PFGs, the Magellans, everybody that makes one that? of them things. Why do you want a button down? Because I can put my phone up there in it. Because yeah. it's got a zipper. Oh, hey, you put your phone in your pocket. Your breath, On man. your britches. Well, no, I can't. Hey, on a T-shirt. I can't because I ain't got no rear end to hold my britches up. I put my pocket, well, my hey, phone in my pocket, my that? pants go to the ground. Well, look, I can't have it. You got a rear end problem. You know. Well, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> well, it is what it is, boy. But a, a pocket on a cotton T-shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. It don't do fine. nothing but give me a raw left nipple. That's it. Well, there you go. Chest pockets on T-shirts. Is there oh, anything in that pocket it's... right now? No, there's nope. nothing in that nope. pocket. But he, then but... what good is it? You know why? Because then he bends I've over and it would fall out. No, no. Of... Yeah. I, but in case I have something to put into it, like, like these... Oh, he's a, now he's got an airhead in his pocket. Arrowhead. 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 That's what I said, a rib. Putting, I wasn't getting a coke knife. I didn't knife. broke, broke I, a rib. I, I, I had, I had, I had, I had such rib. a big crappie, boy. I hey, put him in a cooler. Yeah, to get a Coca-Cola out. I, 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 I was actually throwing a crappie in there, but I was turning in a bad position. Yeah. It was in you got to watch, hey, you gotta watch positions. It'll pop, pop bones. Popping bones. Uh, yeah, boys. According to the interwebs, um, the t- Not the pocket, internet. Pockets the interweb. On the interweb. Pockets on T-shirts arose because of the decline of waistcoats, which I didn't know what that was. A, a waistcoat. A waistcoat, which is just a vest. So Al doesn't need pockets on T-shirts. Mm. But they got a little pocket. The vest do. And more and more people started wearing T-shirts as outerwear, so they had to put a pocket on it. So what? So I'm just going to paraphrase what I just heard. In the 50s and the 60s, people figured out vest wasn't it. Here we are in the 20s, the 2020s, and, and Al said, you know what I need? Bringing it t-shirt. back, baby. T-shirt with a pocket on it. No, he needs a vest. That's why he doesn't need a T-shirt. I, I will say this. In the order of things that I th- hate or not dislike, I'm going to put the vest. It's pretty. It's not a. He's down there. Like. I, I, yeah, but I, it's, I, I, it's a. It's a what's the word? I'm I like them there in the hunting It's season. a. They're fine during hunting season. Yeah. But Keep your torso they're, warm. Yeah, during the summer. Yeah. yeah, and then your arms are free to move pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, if you look well, at our look compadres good. when you wear one. They look good. Well, they come a vest? Out. Camo. A vest, yeah. It looks good? Oh, yeah. No. A vest, like, oh, yeah, it does. Hey, the Cowboys in the Cowboy days, they had a vest. That's a leather vest. That's tight. Well, I'm talking about, hey, they look spiffy. Yeah, it's not a zipper spandex vest. Well, I mean, I I, I don't know about all the spandex vests, you know. Is that the type Al wears? It's got to be something because it's stretching. (laughs) Oh, it's stretching? (laughs) Oh, okay. (laughs) You know, we went to the fabric. We the went, fabric is always being we went tested. From in other words, on a t-shirt to, to the yeah. fabric well, being tested. Now we're hey, at look, the spandex stage. You just don't understand how much money Al is getting paid to test and vest. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. We can't make it twenty okay. episodes without bringing up <laughs> Al Robertson and, and his vest. I can't help it. They just got back from vacation hey. and they posting all them pictures from the beach. Oh, on, is he wearing on oh, their social what media right now? Yeah, okay. Maybe he's wearing a waistcoat. Which I don't know what. Oh, is. hey, he may have a. What's waistcoat the definition on? of a waistcoat? But from the ones I've a seen, a vest, a vest, yeah. a vest, a, vest. Yeah. a sleeveless upper body garment, a uh, sleeveless, sleeveless upper, upper body, body garment, a vest. Commonly known as the vest. But, Godwin, you was on vacation. What'd you do? 
I sit on the beach with my woman. It ain't oh. the funnest thing to do. <laughs> but, no offense, Miss Paula. But she uh-huh. loves it. Therefore, I love it. Well, hey, that's yeah. a good man. There. You just sat there under your portable shade tree and yeah, did sat under my portable shade tree and watched people. You have a portable shade tree? Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. umbrella. Well, you got to have that to watch people. That makes me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I sat in my chair. You got to have, you gotta have that to watch I people. I did get out in the ocean and swam. And TT? TT, yeah. <laughs> that's about what, that's what most of them do. That's what most of them do. <laughs> you be do, watching bro. them. They'll go out there about waist deep and they stop and they fiddle with the water a little do bit a with their circles. hands and, <laughs> and then they, they come in back in. They if I was there, I'd be screaming, hey, quit being in the water. Well, you're going to have to scream it all day. <laughs> yeah, because that's what they do. Yeah, that's, that's what everybody do. Hey, quit yep. that. At the beach? Yeah. Oh, Are you yeah. not Before. supposed to pee in the ocean? Hey, no. no, you can't. You, no. you ain't supposed to pee in the pool either, but people do. <laughs> no, you shouldn't pee in the pool. That's <laughs> well, hey, I'm telling you what they do. Well, I know. Everybody just well, swims around. Well, you think the in there, son. Wait, did you just say you can't if you're pregnant? Wait, what? What did you say about peeing in the ocean? You can't what? I said swim around it. I thought you around. I don't know. But that, that was close. You you were close. I thought you said you can't if you're pregnant. Well, I, no, my woman can't hear neither. How do you know when to swim around it? <laughs> That's when you hit them warm currents. Yeah, them warm, warm currents. Current. Oh, warm currents. Well, it was, was go. warm in general, yeah. though. No, this wasn't where I was at. It's cold. It's cold, cold. yeah. Where it were was you? That, that, first, that first little dude. I was down there in the blue water. He was in the blue water. What is so you weren't in Alabama. I wasn't. That's where the big marlin went on past that. I went by our Bucky's. Did you stop? Oh. Didn't stop. Nick oh. Paula didn't he w- to... You went hey, by Bucky's? Let me tell you what. You wouldn't have stopped neither. Oh, it was too many, many people. people. It was a line on the exit. Oh, it was a line on the There's exit. There's a reason. To get in it. The exit was backed up. That's right. It wasn't, it wasn't even enough Paula to turn said, off. No. I said, I'm with you. I'd have said. Mm. But I was curious about them 159,000 bathroom stalls they got in that thing. I, I you don't bet have to go. was all full. Boy, when they go to the beach, they take the whole crew, don't they? I was trying to see if Al wore a vest on the beach. He didn't. I'm looking at the photos. Yeah, they were supposed to go. They don't never go the week. So, did you leave the country? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, he was in Florida. 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 I know where he was at. I mean, I know the state. I don't know where he was at. I went on a catamaran ride. <laughs> Did you? That's that was pretty fun. neat. You got one on a what, ride? a what ride? Catamaran. A catamaran? What's a the catamaran? With Captain Pam. What's a catamaran? It's a boat in three parts hooked together on top. That's a, like that's a, a tritune. Yeah. Almost. That's a great definition. They had lay, lay, living quarters three boats in the middle ones. Oh, uh, top. But them things are smooth. They don't fall oh, out of money like the moon. No, they just ride. Why is they, it stupid? They glide. It's a sailboat. She said they went to uh, Bahamas and that thing took them 21 days. To get to the Bahamas? Yeah. Boy, it ain't that far. She said she figured it'd be two weeks. It is if you start on well, this was, side of Florida. It, it was bad <laughs> storms and all that. Yeah. They got caught in Key West. Is there a bunch of seaweed down there right now? That's the rumor. It I was. Suppose. The Saragassum weed. Well, the Saragossum reed. It was just, the week before we got there. Is it gone now? Pretty much. That's good news. I'm going. Some to, of it come up in there. Did you catch any fish? I didn't go fishing. You didn't buy your fishing pole? I started to, but I kept watching them boys because cause here I figured out I've never. Now, my woman goes to the beach every year. I don't never go. She goes with a bunch of them gals that you know from church, that church women's group. They can't come home till they've had a good cry, right? Yeah, you can't come home when you're crying, then you can come on home. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> well, that was happening at the meeting, too. The meetings they have ain't never over. You hear them bawling, and they start walking out the door. Then. <laughs> Time okay, to go home, boys. Okay crying to go over. home. I don't know ain't what it is about crying. that. Uh, but anyway, I went down there. She said, now, you got to go early and get us, because you got an umbrella and two chairs with, with your condo. Mm-hmm. So, I went down there to save a spot, you know. And you go down there, and all the men are down there just standing. <laughs> They're just standing around by this umbrella. This is mine, you know. Put a towel over it. 
I put my drink cup over it. I went down there drinking coffee and put my Yeti over it. And um, some of them down there fishing, but ain't nobody catching. They just fishing. So I'm like, no, this ain't a good spot. <laughs> so, so I didn't ever buy my last. I just thought about it. You should have drug one out the back of that catamaran. Because so there was sand fleas everywhere. You digging that sand, you finding some sand fleas. But there you go. I didn't see one guy caught a shark and some kind of long fish. Probably back. I don't know what it was. Probably back. I don't know. I wasn't close enough to see, but I could Slate, see. They're, they're like a it bullet. It was long and silver. Shape, shape, yep, slape, shaped like a bullet. Parrot. So that's about it. That's it. But them old boys putting them them uh, tent things up, they was pretty handy. They had a four-wheeler and a trailer, and this one guy had a drill. He'd drill in that sand. Other guy stab that umbrella right behind him. They put out about 100 umbrellas in about 15 minutes. Really? And chair, they was getting it. Mm. They they had it down pat. But anyway, beach ain't so much for me. But hey, Preach. you do what your woman wants to do in the summertime. She leaves you alone in the wintertime. Great. Right. That's why I'm headed down there this weekend. That's right. <laughs> you know. Well, we'll be back right after. Well, there that. you go. True Bill. Yeah. From forgotten free trials to automatic renewals, when big companies keep charging you, Truebill is your secret weapon to save you money on subscriptions you don't need. Look, I got a notification this week that uh, my cable promo was ending, so mm-hmm. clicked on it, called Xfinity, saved me about another $50 a month, because yes, you. I am still old school. Yes, I am cable. I don't stream everything. I'm sorry. I just can't get off of it. He's so an old it, man. And it is what it is. Oh, I like local weather, and I like watching sports. So Thank you. You know, yeah. it is what it is. But if Truebill hadn't done that for me, I wouldn't have ever saved that $50. I don't know when I would have noticed it. Probably the first month because I do keep a pretty good eye on that. But Truebill let you know before, baby. But they let me know beforehand, so I didn't have to pay it. Truebill is a new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. On average, people save up to $720 a year with Truebill. Companies make subscriptions hard to cancel. Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your accounts and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions in one tap. And your Truebill concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions so that you don't have to. That is a cool thing. Like I said, it just saved me $50 a month. Truebill has over 2 million users and helped them save over $100 million. Like Matthew B., who says in a matter of seconds... He saved $660 for the year on his direct TV bill, saved $120 for the year on Sirius XM, and saved $840 a year on car insurance. The boy just went up a tax bracket. That's incredible. Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at Truebill.com slash duck. Go right now, Truebill.com slash duck. It could save you thousands a year. Truebill.com slash duck. Wake up over there, Si. Y'all, when you're on vacation, what best thing you ate while you was down there? Did you find best some thing, good uh, I found me some, I ate at uh, this one place, I forget the name of it, but it was like, you went, a, you went down this road, just bumpy everywhere, but that's where all the locals went. And it was out on a pair, rickety old pair, but you talking about good. Good, what'd you eat? I got some shrimp, and I got some... Uh, some kind of fig, some mahi, mahi. Yeah. got some of that, and it was good. So. That's a green one? Yeah. yeah. I see him. Green and chartreuse. Mahi, wow, wow, wow. No, that's yeah. that stuff you smoked in college. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> mahi, mahi, mahi's good. Dorado, it it's got a bunch of different names. I got some sushi one night. That was good. There you go. You was living your best life, wouldn't you? Did you play putt-putt? No. Golly. Oh, no, we had a go kart. No. <laughs> uh, they had some up there look just like them baby NASCARs. Really? Oh, oh, yeah. You got inside it. Oh, my goodness. You should have done it. I was that. wanting, but everything was full. I figured after Memorial Day, everybody would be gone. Oh, no. no. A lot of people. No, the Memorial Day is like, Kick what are they, what flag they wave? Oh, green flag at a NASCAR race. And Memorial Day like the green flag. Yeah. That, that, the end of August 1st, like the checkered flag, that's when it starts slowing down. It's just a dadgum hot. You mm-hmm. can't stand it down there. 
<laughs> but, oh, they's flying that red flag on that lifeguard stand a couple of days. Don't get in there? It was an undercurrent. You could feel it, boy. Really? Well, yeah, when you had to get in there to pee. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, boys. <laughs> How much urine is in the ocean? There ain't no time. All of it. All of it. All of it eventually makes it there. Yeah. <laughs> we seen dolphins, seen a shark. You big. saw a shark? Yeah. Bigging? Yeah, he was pretty big. Wasn't he? Run? When he was on that catamaran. Oh. He come right up under the one of them air, whatever you call them, runners. Really? Mm-mm. Big old thing. You could have caught him. That'd he be- wasn't as big as that, and we seen. Remember we went with them boys that done all that free diving. Oh yeah, but he wasn't that big. But he no. was a, he was a good. One. No, but that thing that we saw was a monster. Yeah, and them that- boys wanting to get in the water with him. Yeah, uh, no, thank you. Yeah, he was one of them that uh, what a white tip or something. One of them that killed all them boys over that had that plane crash over in the Pacific. He he know. was the same kind as them. Wait, big old giant thing. They were in a plane crash. Yeah. And then they got eaten by a shark. Well, they plane went down, and then, yeah, they all got ate by sharks. That's a bad day. Yeah. Unless you're the shark. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> how unlucky are you to have a plane crash, and then you survive it, only to be eaten by a shark? Yeah. But that's the same kind of shark that was out there in the middle of the Atlantic, and them boys said, man, we'd sure like to get in the water with yeah. it. I said, well, let me know how it turns out. Yeah. Your boy's out. <laughs> yeah. No. I'll, I'll drive. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to have to if yeah. we're going to get on. I ain't got <laughs> no interest in that. getting in there with that rascal. No. He big. He took half our tuna from Things us. Things oh. <laughs> eat oh. you. Yeah, yeah. You oh. ever been in a wrestling match with a shark? Uh, nope, but I, I was in uh, Virginia Beach in the underground big aquarium they got. Oh. And I was, my peripheral vision, all I seen was teeth. Mm. Coming into my peripheral vision, and then the rest of it came. You talking about a killing machine? That is a killing machine. Cause did you know mm-hmm. if they break a front tooth off, it just automatically what's left, if any is left, it falls out, and they've got it on a chain, and they roll another one into the front, mm-hmm. and it grows in the back. There you go. They're never without. Something to eat you with. No, no. They're never without their teeth. Shark so, teeth. They got like three rows of them. Mm-hmm. Well, I've never uh, heard four. of a shark, look, shark being called at, snaggle tooth. Hey, and they're at a 45 degree angle. So when, I don't know how fast a shark swims. Real. But it's fast. If he hits you, you're fixing to lose so, whatever he hit. Whatever part of the body he hit you on, you lost that. He got him. Good grief. That is why this I... Was, oh, no. When did you go to an aquarium in Virginia? When my son was stationed up there. Okay. Was it a good aquarium? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no. If you're there, you need to go. It's like going to a, a first-rate, first-class uh, zoo. That's the first so, time he said the, something that didn't pertain to Alabama, <laughs> Germany, or Vietnam. Or North Carolina. Oh, no, no. But, hey, no, it's <laughs> worth going to see. Okay, because they've got it all. In in the aquarium, the Virginia Aquarium. Hey, no. I like it. Oh, we seen a sea turtle. Did you? Sure did. Oh, I had one of them come up to my. On I was on a surfing board in Hawaii. <laughs> Good curry. No, no, I'm serious. And it blew the it blew my lady, uh, uh, swimmer. Careful. She was there. No, no, she was there to take care of me. Oh. What? You know, and it blew her mind. She she lives in Hawaii and has. Mountain lives her life in the ocean. Duck mm-hmm. Dynasty. Uh, no, no. Still I'm, I'm serious. Hey, look, I'm talking about this sucker was as big as round as this table. Is and he coming? comes up. I'm I'm like this, petting his head. You petted his head? Oh, yeah. This thing was humongous. And this lady is just freaking out. Tell me, what is it with you? Somebody get Christine on the phone to verify this. No, no. <laughs> and I said, what are you talking about? She said, I've been in the ocean all my life, and I ain't never had one of the sea turtles come up to my board. It's because we're using paper straws. I'm sorry. You know, I said, well, hey, look, <laughs> animals animals like me. Yeah. They use a whisperer. Yeah. Hey. That's because hey, they know not to fear his, you. His, his, uh, <laughs> his skin felt weird. I don't think you're supposed to touch them. 
Well, I couldn't help it. He kept right up against the board he against my leg. No, I'm with you. I'd have bet it. I would no, I just yeah. tried, tried it. Easy, People big. are serious about I was trying to go easy, big guy. Easy, yo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it literally blew the girl's easy. mind. She was talking about, what is it? Si I was hey. seconds away from making a Disney movie. Oh, no, no, He no. was about to ride that, was, that turtle. No, no. Mm -hmm. That was the right. coolest thing for that stupid thing because I'm looking and something's coming up. I can see it coming up and I'm going, I said, hey, yo, I'm going to fight. And in that moment, they got the inspiration for Moana's grandmother. <laughs> oh, no, 170. Right. It was wild. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's hey, people are serious about sea turtles. Oh, no. Sea turtles are awesome. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're awesome. They're well, beautiful. Let's just they be, really awesome. are. Let's be yeah. honest. All turtles are pretty stinking cool. They're yeah. very big. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. I love a box turtle. That zoo like, in Tyler oh, no, no. the turtles the size yeah, of this room. I used oh, to. tortoises. I used sure. to until I found out who they who are their bunk mates. Who's that? Box turtle? No, yeah, box turtle. Or the gopher tortoises. Uh well, the one that's got the box, he can close it whole like mm -hmm. the, he, it's like a garage door. Yeah. It comes up. That one. Their bunk mates are rattlesnakes. Well, wouldn't you live with them too if you was hey. at, if you was at the bottom of the food chain? No. No, you got to do is close that garage door. Hey, well, I mean, the to. turtle's fine, but the bunkmate, nah. <laughs> he ain't into rattlesnakes. Yeah, I ain't into rattlesnakes. You know. No, you you can take the rattle off of that. You ain't into snakes. It don't. Well, hey, work. I don't like. Yeah, forget the rattles and anything else. If it crawls slithers on his belly, I got one thing for him. What? A 22. And that's something to blow his head off with. You know? <laughs> well, we'll be back right after this. That's funny. Look, it's summertime. If you don't want to wear a hat to keep your head from burning, have we got something for you? Our friends over at Nutrafol can help put some hair back on top of that head. It can do it for you. You no longer have to choose between better hair growth and your health. There's a holistic solution for men that promotes both healthier hair and whole body wellness. You can get ahead of thinning hair with Nutrafol's whole body approach to hair growth. No drugs, no compromises. So if your hair is starting to thin, you want to slow it down, make your hair healthier, our friends over at Nutrafol can help you out. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement clinically shown to improve your hair growth, thickness, and visible scalp coverage. Nutrafol's hair growth nutraceuticals go beyond genetics to multi-target the root causes of thinning, including stress, hormones, nutrition, metabolism, aging, and lifestyle through whole body health. Physician formulated using natural medical grade ingredients, Nutrafol's drug-free patented technology provides consistent, reliable results without compromising your sexual health. I mean, come on. In a clinical study, men showed progressive improvement in hair growth and thickness after three and six months. Nutrafol is also trusted and recommended by more than 3,000 top doctors you can go thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com and entering the promo code DUCK to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is their best offer anywhere, and it's available. It's only available to U.S. customers, but for a limited time, plus free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code DUCK. Yeah. Crabs and crabs running on them beach. They run sideways. I don't see how they do that. Did you chase them? I tried to run sideways. And I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> I like the one that's just got one one claw. One claw. Yeah. That don't matter. It, they just it, they instead of run, they ought to go this way, but they go this way. And there's literally millions of them in the marsh marsh grass. Cause I went over I went over a bridge when I was in in Virginia. Back to Virginia. Okay, and look. The tide was out, and I'm telling you, I bet you was there was at least a million one armed crab, one armed crabs with the like the uh, little bitty shell on the back of it. Did any of them say they were so shiny? Uh, no, but they, they, there was a lot of them. It was. So hey, that's why you never see any carcasses in in the ocean. Wait, there's a such thing as a one armed crab. Well, no. well, he just told you they were. I just told you that, though. <laughs> when you, you going to quit doubting him, son? I ain't never heard of no one-armed crab. <laughs> yeah. I got all that, too. Hey, look, you I go down there. Post a fiddler on the roof. You go down there in Key West, and they got them crabs that live on the ground, on land, and them suckers is some hammers. But, I mean, how mad would Remember you be them if you were born them? to look like this with just one, like. No, no, that's what's so unique about it. Well, he I mean, ain't he's, got one crab. He, one got a, he got another one over there. It just ain't much to well, it. Well, I mean, yeah, but hey, the only thing you notice is the big one 
big painter. Well, yeah, that's to keep the sun out of his eyes. Do you think yeah. some of them are left-handed and some of them are right-handed? Well, according well to the only so far I'm looking at that's all right-handed. Oh, this one's lefty. Yeah, there's a lefty. There's a southpaw. Oh. That wasn't a southpaw. That one right it's on there the right is. side. He's looking at you. And the other one's right-handed. <laughs> Your left or my left side? Which one we on? <laughs> well, I'm looking. Okay, yeah. he's looking at me. It's his right. Oh. Either way. Okay. I didn't know there was such thing. But anyway, I guess it would be left-handed. That's where they got the, the well, that's why they got the name machine from. Fiddler. I just can't mm. wait to see where we end up after this break. More. Well, no, no. Facts. Hey, it just hit me about You're that one, one, yeah. one, one arm crab. Yeah, one arm crab. One arm bandits. No, my point was we've been to Virginia. But yeah. you did you notice Hawaii, we never Hawaii. we went to an aquarium? You know Marsh. It, it's actually mm. something to see if you see a carcass in the ocean. A carcass? Yeah. It would be incredible oh, to see hey, a carcass. Or a body. Okay, because it hey, if it's there long, it's gone. Uh, Something's gonna eat it. What is a carcass? A porpoise? Hey, no, a, a body. Oh, a carcass. 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 A carcass, whatever. <laughs> okay. It's like a barbarous, but different. Yeah, it's like a body. <laughs> so you know, you're saying if a there's dead a dead body, if there's a carcass in the ocean, uh, you don't see them. I'm telling you, it's the ocean. Clean, clean up it... crew. There's always a clean up crew ready, ready and willing. If in the ocean, well, they pretty efficient up here in these piney woods. Well, no, oh, that's right. Yeah. That's true. The, uh, between the buzzards, the flies, and maggots. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they gone. Yeah. They ain't there. It don't long. take it long. Yeah. Like ants. You know how to tell a male ant from a female ant? Oh, hold on. I the big claws. I think this is a joke. No. No. It's a big joke. It's the, they've got. You throw, you throw, them in, throw them in the water. If it sinks, it's a girl ant. But if he floats, it's a boy ant. <laughs> No That's idea. pretty good. He's boy ant. Hey, boy ant. Yeah. I thought he's you a boy ant, boy. If it was okay. a boy ant, it'd be your uncle. <laughs> oh. Well, it's something like they can lift twelve times their body weight. Huh? Yeah. Boy ants or girl yeah. ants? Huh? No. Or Just, buoys. I, I would say the boy <laughs> ants. Boy ant. Boy ant. The boy ant. Twelve times their body weight. Yeah. It may be more than that. I just know this. It's amazing what they can lift. How much can you lift? Five thousand times not, their body not, weight. Uh, is it five thousand times? Oh, okay. I knew somebody. I knew when I said it. I knew I was wrong. How much do you weigh, Simon? Uh, I weigh one seventy-two. All right. That's because they're so small. What they pick up is small. Yeah, Even but no, 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 no. Five no, times uh, their body weight is still small. No, it's still yeah, don't but weigh. You tell me five times their weight. 5,000 times. Uh, 5,000 times their well, what weight. What do they weigh? You can't even fail them until they bite you. Hey, well, I'm just saying it's still a feat. It would be like if, if Cy could lift 860,000 pounds. Yeah. Which, which so is, there you go, 860,000 pounds. Which is about the size of a large yacht. Yeah. It's pretty impressive, Cy. Oh, no. That's why I tell you. Yeah. So you ain't an ain't? Well, no, no. That's like the hummingbird. Okay. Oh, man, here we go. Oh, no, 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 because, hey, this is the coolest thing. A hummingbird, a hummingbird mm. does not flap his wings just up and down. Yes, he, huh? Side he don't flap side. his wings up and down. Side to side. A humming, nope, a hummingbird does a figure eight, and it's 180 wing beats per second. That's fast. That's why he can go. <laughs> he go any way he wants to go. He's like a drone. And hey, and and his wing beats like are, pass out from are a figure pole. eight. But you got to think about it. a He's figure right. eight wing beat. Yeah. One hundred eighty beats per second. Eighty times a second. I just wish y'all. Nope. I looked it up. What what did it say? They fl they flutter their wings eighty times per second. Oh, eight. They do not flap their wings. They rotate them in a figure eight. Yeah. And then they go. Oh, if you ever flash. heard one, it, yeah. it, that's what. My aunt grabbed one off a flower. She a girl ain't or a boy ain't? Uh, no, no. <laughs> no, that'd be your uncle. <laughs> my, my, my aunt is a girl. But, hey, she grabbed a hummingbird. Guess what happened? 
She couldn't lift it. He stuck that beak <laughs> slam through her hand. What? Well, that ain't very nice. Yeah. Sure. All the way through? All the way. Yeah. And then he said, <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> when she opened it, <laughs> he backed out. <laughs> he must have been eating crawfish. <laughs> I'm, just tell- I'm just telling you. Okay. What is this podcast even about? <laughs> about things that hit my mind. <laughs> nature. <laughs> nature. Yeah, nature uh, today. Mm. Yeah. Well, what's the funnest thing you've done today? Right here. <laughs> right here at the podcast, boy. It's hard to beat this. Oh, by the way, did you ever talk to your wife? She hey, called me in a panic while, looking yeah. for you. No, no, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. What we got do? a phone call from Houston. Oh. Okay, so my uh, Houston, there's a problem. No, no, the problem is fixing to be fixed. There's a solution? Oh, yeah. You're yeah. approved? Uh, yeah, yeah. I got a few more steps to go through, but yeah, I've been approved. Ah, hey. Look at yeah. you. Yeah. That means you're going to be so, talking for a while, son. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Breathing through just wide open lungs. Well, really, the exhale, right? <laughs> no, no, yeah. That's what it yeah. fixes, yeah. the yeah. exhale, not yeah. the inhale. The inhale's good. It's the just not getting rid of the bad. There you go. So you're going to be able to talk yeah. twice as much. Oh, yeah. And it's fast. He's going to be well, like no, a hummingbird then, over there. So. We then won't I'll be get in a word in it twice. Then I'll be able to tell my QE even more. Yeah, baby. Yeah. That's exciting, yeah. Sam. Well, it is. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't know what it was about. Yeah, that's she why just... she was trying to run everybody down. Yeah. So, hey, have you seen my husband? Yeah. She you needed his insurance. I want to get my she hair done. She needed his checkbook. Yeah. I want to get my hair done and I come Wait. home. Whoa, and, hey. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> don't, don't breeze over that. Well, Time I'm out. out. <laughs> what? A verse? <laughs> Run this thing back this, about 30 no, seconds. No, no. I got this is hair done? Huh? You went to This get, is hair no, done? No, she went to get her hair done. Uh, oh, I thought you said I. I was like, <laughs> whoa, ho, 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 ho. No, no, sir. No, no sir. We didn't. No. Actually, this, all this time he's been going to a barber once I was wondering where she was going to have She went to get her hair done. Oh, okay. okay. Mm. okay. Yeah, she had a date with a hair lady. Because if this was you got your hair done, no. <laughs> yeah, I was going to have hey, to wonder here, where it was. Here's what's done right. with How my much hair. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It. I'm he glad I wasn't it. the only one. I heard and I. When it, and when it gets real like this, I got to use the... The big side of the comb to get it all tangled. Not the little side. <laughs> Not the little side because that hurts too much. Side of man that still got the comb that flips over. Oh, yeah. Fine teeth yeah. on one side, yeah. rough on the other. Big teeth <laughs> on one side to get it straightened out, and then you don't. Yeah, okay. Do now you I'll... keep it in a cup by the sink? Uh, no. Oh, it's, it's, right, it's right there where I got my car keys, <laughs> my truck keys. Right there where I got my truck keys. He's a dapper damn man. Oh, so you it's leave it. Two first. weeks from everywhere. So the last thing you do before you leave oh, the yeah. house is run a comb through yeah. your hair. There you go. Golly, I... Get him out that. the door. No? Get him out the door. I wouldn't have pegged you for that. No, no. me either. And then you ride here with a window down? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> no. And I will say one thing about that new Ford I got. Tell oh. us about it. Hey, I could leave meat in that sucker and it wouldn't fall. Leave the air conditioner on. I, it I will run a, you out there. Oh, well, that's good. I you don't look, and it only goes to seven. What? Yeah, and I usually turn it on two, and then if I drive from here to the podcast about halfway up, I turn it off. Are we talking about your air conditioner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It only goes up to seven. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Oh, and it'll run you out of there. My truck. Okay. I've, I I've actually got out and had it wipe. You know. Frost off your yeah, arm. Yeah, frost off my arm. <laughs> 95%. Christine went here, here she goes, no, you didn't. <laughs> no, oh, I, no. Hey, that's not going to run down the temperature, son. Tacos. <laughs> Yo, you seen the commercial where it goes from infrared to blue? Hey, that's the way it is in my truck when I get out. Solid blue. I it's think solid blue. I don't it's know freezing everything. Ain't no red. Ain't no red. It's solid blue, baby. I don't, what's this a commercial for? Cold air, air conditioning. Cold air. air, air. Cold air. What size telling all of them? Oh, they got all kinds of new things in cold air. They got the little neck band. Okay. And it actually sprays cold air down and up. Okay. Then if you go all the way and get the, the, the little band around your neck and the new hat, then you got it made. In case you wanted to know what they were advertising on yeah. daytime TV. That's right. This is what they advertised on daytime on TV. On gun smoke. Yeah. That's right. After, you watch TV land, you That's can right. buy yourself That's a right. hat yeah. with but a wait. fan on it. Right. But wait. Hey, and you know what they send with it? A tack light. Yeah. 
hey, oh, and not one, hey. but two. And it will cause all the bright lights. Oh, wait, they send you that shake. Uh, well, we'll be back right after. That. <laughs> uh, oh. Careful, Gavin. Gavin, you sound like you maybe could use a pillow. Oh man, pillow. I could use. I could use my pillow. Could you? Maybe something made in America, made in the USA. Well, maybe made some sheets. Maybe made some... right here at home, going. Yeah. Nice slipper. Travel. Yeah. Nice travel pillow. Do you know where you could get them? I sure do. Where? They're at my house in the stinking oh. closet. Well, if you don't have them yet, you can get them at my store. My store is the new platform for Mike Lindell, the My Pillow Guy. My store features U.S. entrepreneurs with hundreds. Of products made in the USA. Hey, Documenter, we're proud to be made in the USA. Right USA. Here. They're bringing manufacturing jobs back to our country and bringing you amazing products made right here in the US of A. They sell all the My Pillow products you know and tons more. They even have patriotic t shirts that are actually made in the USA, and those aren't easy to find. So, look, if you're trying to celebrate for Fourth of July coming up, you need a patriotic t shirt, head on over to the My Store, check it out, see what you can come up with. Look, they sent us all a bunch of my pillows, the my pillow Giza Dreams bed sheets, the my pillow six piece towel sets, the roll and go anywhere my pillows, and oh, yeah. my slippers. I got the coolest pillow ever. With Mike Lindell holding an American flag on it. I said, "Yeah, baby." I can tell you this: Brittany is walking all around the house in them slippers. So. Oh, my wife loves them things. Yeah, she is a big. Slipper she said fan. they're better than the slipper. I got her some like pretty high dollar slippers for Christmas. She goes, "I like these better." I'm like, you want to know why? America made in America. Look. That's the deal. We love it. It's made here in America, keeping Americans working. That is a great thing, and anytime somebody does that, we're here to support it. You've got to check out the great specials on these products, like the buy one, get one offer on MyPillow sheets, towels, and pillows, and huge savings on the MyPillow slippers. Original price $139.98, now only $49.98 with promo code DUCK. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's $90. Look, just go to mystore.com and use promo code DUCK or call 800-881-0056 and use promo code DUCK. That's mystore.com, promo code DUCK, or call 800-881-0056 and use promo code DUCK. How right cool now, is that all made in America, boys. I'm sitting here doing this, and the only thing I think about is, how would you like to be a woodpecker? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we uh, were in a break, yeah, and yeah, and we just started rolling, and that's what comes out of his uh, mouth. Hey, he no. was hitting a knife on a piece of wood, and Look, that got you to. Thinking. I will say one thing about: they need to do a medical study, and I guarantee you, woodpeckers have a lot of migraine headaches. <laughs> okay, there's no doubt in my mind about that. I'm okay. what the best part of my day was. Because if you've ever been in the woods and heard, burp, burp, that's a woodpecker pecking on a hard oak tree. Bird facts with Cy Robertson. No. <laughs> and impressions. Hey. I wonder if they ever get a, a crack, their bill ever cracks. Yeah. Their bill ever cracks. Oh, I imagine sometimes they probably hit a, hit a real soft spot and get hung up. <laughs> Or it's right. trying to get <laughs> no, no, trying to get a bug. They know the bug's in there, and they, then they hit the soft spot, and he, they get their beak hung up. <laughs> and then you see them. How much Looney Tunes do you watch? On I'm gonna have to start. Days. I'm gonna start this orange uh, uh, squirrel season. I'm gonna go through the woods looking to see if I see a woodpecker hanging, Spin just in circles. There. That's yeah. right. Spinning okay. circles, trying to get hey, out of there. I tell you what, you'll His see him. Nose just you'll be, no, no, you'll be able to see him. He's he, upside down. Oh, no. It is a thing. What? <laughs> Woodpecker gets stuck in? No. Here you go. Hey. Our good friends over at YouTube <laughs> saved the woodpecker. <laughs> and I feel bad because I think this dude's messing with this bird. Then he pulls him out of the bit hey, and he, he got, got his beak. He and got he flies off. He got his beak stuck. So, huh. You are just a <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> What did you just do over there, Martin? I, I forgot I had that gun magnet in my hand, and I brought it back close, and that thing jumped out of my hand and scared me to death. So. Ladies and gentlemen. He thought a woodpecker I'm talking about, I'm talking about he scared. A had, I'm talking about scared me to death. What kind of tree and what kind of woodpecker was that? Where's that at? He ain't from around here. No, that was a foreign country. That was a banana tree. Yeah. That, I don't know. That woodpecker ain't from around here. Mm -mm. No, he's blue. 
I can tell you this much. He done beat himself black and blue. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm not kidding you. Well, tell me. Science.org. That's got to mean it's true. Um, on January 7th, 2021, they finally figured out why woodpeckers don't get stuck in trees. It's a very long article. So I told you, they done a study on it. They did a study on it. But they're saying they don't get stuck. Well, I think they're incorrect. They can move well, we just upper and it. lower beaks independently. Well, yeah, it's they a mile. What? They can what? <laughs> oh, they is. can lower. <laughs> I, can, I can move mine independently. Can you? Hey, me too. But they're moving yeah. together. No. Just man. move your top it's... lip. Apparently, no, uh, they, did, right. they synced Both up. Both of them, they're synced. He said, yeah, That's it's gonna, a mouth. There he is. There he is, boy. <laughs> bam. 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 Is this slow motion or is this? Yeah, oh, yeah, look, yeah. slow motion. So, yeah. All right, here we go. That's um, the ivory bill. Show sure um, is. No, nah, it's a pileated bill. Nope, I was going to say that's the other one. Where's the red? I don't know the name of you. I don't know. That was a very short video. He look, he's a cousin to the ivory bill. Well, yeah, they're both woodpeckers. Well, no, no, I'm saying the, the whatever he said it was. Huh? He's, pileated. He's a, he's a cousin pileated, to the yeah. ivory bill. Who's? Yeah. First cousin. Who's your first cousin? Huh? What? The Hobbses. Main, the main Hobbses. <laughs> the main Hobbses. The main old Hobbses. Yeah, and the Hales. <laughs> oh, what an episode. Hey, you got to understand. H H. Honey Hole? No. Superstar. Oh. Hobbses and Hales. Oh. <laughs> hey. And Rubbersons? Uh. <laughs> I got Arrowhead. There you go. Oh, uh, imagine if you was a woodpecker. Martin, can you get this thing back on track? Nope. <laughs> nope. Isn't that your job? Hey, the train mm -mm. has run off the tracks. Hey, 146 of them, and I finally lose it. We are. Right, that's it, boys. Hey. One out of 146 ain't bad. Well, need I don't. I, no, because now I'm just sitting here thinking about woodpeckers. I he know. has hijacked my a mind. No, no, a woodpecker is a cool little. You sitting there at daylight on your deer stand, and you hear them. Or out there in the middle of the pond. Mm. They go, they'll fly out. Them little redheaded mm. ones will fly all the way out there to the middle of the pond yeah. on them dead snag. Yeah. Pretty old thing. Yeah. That's the ones with the holes in it. Yeah. When you said that, I just remember last year we're in the duck blind. The sun is just peeking up in the east, just the top of it. And guess what lights on a bush? And there's about 25 of them. Sparrow. No. Nope. Mos mosquitoes. No. Nope. I'm going to guess woodpeckers? No. Nope. That's what we're talking about. Okay. Cardinals. Male cardinals. cardinals. Male cardinals. And he's in full plumage red as red it looked like a christmas tree it looked like somebody stuck a christmas tree in the ground and turned the lights on because the sunlight because the sunlight was just hitting that buck brush over there and there was 25 red cardinals yeah looked like a christmas tree mm -hmm. it was gorgeous don't they say cardinals is your loved ones coming back to visit you i don't know i think they do i don't Isn't know they? yeah i've never like heard that, that. Yeah. who's that There's that's so what i want to know bird. them yeah, that's you know. so many things about birds. Yeah. And flowers, same thing. Yeah, Cardinal, he's a cool one. Yeah, hold on. I don't know nothing, nothing about you flowers except it makes hey, women happy. Growing up, when I got my first BB gun, you got your butt whoop if you killed a mockingbird, a Cardinal. Oh, birds are awesome. Any I saw, kind of I saw, uh, I'll send you this picture. Old Kevin Peel and them were fishing. KP? And a, a, they were out in the middle of the Gulf, and a dang yellow bill cuckoo went and landed on their boat with them. What? For those of you that don't know, the old timers call them a rain crow. Rain. What was it? You hear them before a rain. Yellow bill cuckoo. How does a bird get in the middle of the ocean? Because he's coming back home. Oh, he's going for it because they so went to They Mexico. migrate, yeah. They go hmm. across the Gulf, cut the Gulf, and get into northern South America. Hey, Captain, Neotropical migrants is what they're Captain, called. Captain, I've seen this on nature. Yeah, yeah, I've seen this on a nature show. He's, a captain that was... He took people out to fish for marlins and all this big fish, mm. game fish. And he had a seagull that every time he went out would come and land on his boat. The same one? Yeah. And he had hand feed him. How do you? No, hmm. no. That was, that was, the that was, was the George. Thing that, that was the thing that blew the captain's mind. He said, how in the world did he find me, me in this boat, when I'm going out you know, 100 miles offshore? And then here's, you know, I, they even named him. I don't even know what his name was. They but named they, him Seagull? Yeah, they had a name for him. Because, hey, he would just show up out of the blue. 
and light on their boat, and they'd hand feed him the rest of the fishing trip. No matter which way they went. Didn't make any difference where they went. He needed the sound of that boat. He would show up. Time out, but he could get really high and look. Well, no, 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 but still, 100 miles offshore I mean, maybe, from the dock? That's pretty impressive. There's birds that live out there. That's how you catch them fish. <laughs> no, no. Get out there and find them. Oh, no, no, it's nothing funner to watch, okay? I guess they was on mackerel, I guess, a school of mackerel. But they were some kind of seabirds, and it was a lot of them. Frigate bird. And hey, these suckers are bombing out of the sky. You know, and then right before they do, they put their wings straight back and just shoop. And like a dog. They, go, they go like 20 feet yeah. deep. Yeah, the ocean ain't a good place to be a little fish. Yeah. Mm -mm. You you know, but it's amazing to watch it because all it is is, is a, you talking about a splash show. We're going to have to come up with a new segment and like a jingle yeah. of when we do fun facts about birds. Fun facts. Oh, no, about it was birds. something to see. This has been 42 minutes. Of it. What's yeah, the hey. furthest a bird will migrate? The furthest? What's the furthest migrating bird? Probably, I don't know the name of it. Phil could tell you because he tells the stories all the time. He lives in the Arctic. A penguin? No. No, it's he, some little some little bird that nests. I don't think he can fly. He, he, he nests. He nests in the Arctic. Arctic. There's an urn. That's what it is. He's black and white. Yeah, and hey, he and goes. Red all over. He goes to Brazil from the Arctic. He goes from 55, the Arctic. He goes pole to pole every year. Well, I know, but he goes to you know. It's he goes Brazil. to the South from Pole from Greenland in the north. I to thought the, there wasn't no South Pole. Well, it depends on if you're a flat earther or not. And we got in trouble by one of our listeners, so we can't talk about that anymore. <clears throat> but what is mm. it's the Arctic? What term? Weddell Fern or fern? What is the Weddell Fern? Fern. fern. A fern would be a plant. Yeah. That sucker goes okay. all the way to That Antarctica. was his problem. He didn't turn. Yeah. Well, no, no, because what they did, look, some students Keeps at Indiana, University of Indiana, they got some. They made, had a field trip. They got some eggs of the tern. They incubated them. And after the terns had left, to go to Brazil, then they actually turn these loose. And look, two days later, they're in Brazil with the rest of them. He's right. Brock's Birds of Indiana. It's in there. How does this man <laughs> retain all this? It's incredible. <laughs> Discovery Channel. Well, look. Fun it's, facts with Si. It's incredible. Well, the seriously, thing is that, hey, when you see it, it's interesting. Hey, you know, when you live you. that long. Hey, look, could the you imagine planting you your brain and your kidneys? No, no, Incredible. hey, that's, that's like the hummingbird. The hummingbird uh, migrates 3,000 miles. Could you imagine planting I think planting he goes to the time. Amazon. Narrating it. No, 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 no. Hey, here's the deal. This stupid bird right here. Nope. Talk I think he goes to the Amazon, the, the hummingbird. Well, where does he start? Huh? Wherever he's at. Yeah, he's a neotropical migrant, too. Yeah, he, he, he goes up. all over the United States. Where'd he start at? Wherever. And he just goes to, what'd you I say? I guess it depends on which one you want to look at as a start. Yeah. It's always summer in his world. Yeah. He leave down there to start yeah. a fall. He get up he here goes, in the summer. He makes the route when everything is in bloom. Yeah, they all doing the same thing. I'll do. tell you what yeah. there is a big explosion of around here. What? Them stinking whistling ducks. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. I thought you were going to say deer flies, though, because they bad, too. Well, yeah, but. Whistling. I'm talking, we're talking about Where birds. Where do they, they must leave <laughs> before hunting birds. season. Do they migrate south when, during, before hunting season? Yeah, well, they don't usually come up here, but they have in the last 10 yeah. years. Yeah. Well, I tell you, everything's coming, coming they get north. They get gold. We need to get gold. Let's take our last break. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back. And we're back. To Fan up. section emails are here. What's in there, James? Hello at duckcallroom.com. Drop me an email about birds, I guess, because that's what that's we're That's a pretty doing. jig right there. And now we're back to fishing bait. Um, Godwin, you didn't know this, but we got people engaged because of the power of this podcast. That's right. That's, that's awesome. awesome. New favorite thing ever. And Lizzie emails in from Dallas, Texas. Who knows if she's from Dallas? Big D, boy. Hey, did she go to the uh, All Star race? She doesn't say. But she's an identical twin, and she says congratulations to Martin on having twins. There you go. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and she did say, look, if one of them wakes up crying, just go ahead and wake up the other one. That way you don't have to wake up twice. That's her advice to you. But there you go. Yesterday. You heard it from a twin. She emailed. A couple days ago, her boyfriend proposed to her. There you go. Yay. Congratulations. Congratulations, Lizzie. Is this good news? Of course I said yes. Okay. So it's good okay. news. Oh, good news. Of course. Okay. All right. So since we now have a wedding to plan, what is something y'all wish you would have done on your wedding day or something you wish you wouldn't have done? Any advice would be great. Wedding advice from four dudes that are in a duck call room. Here's my advice to you, young lady. Don't spend a bunch of money, or don't yeah. make, let your parents spend a bunch of money. It don't last very long, and you're always and I, ready and the to reason get out I of there say anyway. this, I had a friend that spent hundred and fifty thousand dollars on a wedding for his daughter. Less than six months, they was divorced. Well, they're not going to get divorced. Well, no. I'm just saying, hey. But if you do a bunch of activities hey, and all that, you got to hang around. A lot you of can't money. leave. You're stuck there. Yeah. That is it's, true. It's not worth it. Save your money because you'll need it. First. You'll need it later, especially when the kids start coming along and all this other stuff. Take pictures okay. first. Yeah. yeah. Get that over with. Size says have That's a my best plan, advice for you. Don't spend a lot of money on a wedding. That's right, not just terrible. Just the piece. Go to have a wedding. Hey, take Lizzie. the pictures at the. <laughs> I got an idea. Take the pictures at the uh, rehearsal dinner. If you're not going low. What? That'd be the best thing. Uh, I, I'm with John on that. Don't spend a bunch of money. This is why I thought we shouldn't hey, read this. Hey, email. this is 51 years of experience talking. You gave your wife a cigar wrapper and then turns hey, out it was a $16 ring. That's what I'm talking about. But hey, now she's toting one around on it to knock your eyes out. Okay. Okay. Martin, do you have any good advice? <laughs> Eat. Yeah. Eat and be married. I'll say this. Eat. We paid a bunch of money. I didn't pay no money. Eat, Allison's eat parents married, paid a bunch boys. of money for food that I didn't get to eat. Yeah, eat. That's what I'm talking about. Because you're yeah. stuck going around in circles. Everybody's. You end up not even really spending a lot of time with the person you just married because you're having to talk to everybody else, say thank you for coming. B Y O M. Close. Close. Bring your own mate. Hey. Just like that grill. And- close family and close friends and have an yeah. uh, informal. I will right. say this, Lizzie. If your parents are going to pay for the wedding, I, if I could go back in time, I'd say, hey, what's the budget on this thing? And you, well, let's knock that down a little, and you just give me the cash. Mm. I like that idea. And then go on like a really cool honeymoon. Oh, I didn't tell you that. That's what the father That's told, the, day, told the daughter. Told me, hey, I'll give you and your intended a hundred grand, or what? I'll throw you a big wedding. And them two said, okay, throw us a big wedding. And then less than six months, they divorce. divorced. Weddings are fun. They're Honey, a waste of money. Hunt, pff, they're not a well, they're a celebration of Lizzie and her husband. Hey, I can celebrate and, make, and do it cheaply. You can celebrate. Okay, I, call me a cheap steak if you want to. I'll take it. Right, okay, nice. but I'm just saying, hey, save your money, close friends and family, and hey, if you have, minimum. If you have a set budget, Spend it on the honeymoon. That's, there you go. I There's just remember getting done, getting back, and like I was so hungry. Yeah, yeah. And there was nothing. And you know, I'm so it glad late, it's over. And I was like, and I can get back to my life. Well, not really. I had to come back and film <laughs> that dynasty the next day, but my wife still don't let me forget that one. That's it, boy. Hey, honeymoon. I'd come back yeah. to work. Go on an awesome vacation. Put your phones in the hotel room and go do it. Whatever it is that you two like doing if it's the beach if it's the mountains go do that yeah, yeah that's yeah, my yeah. advice do whatever you want to do just remember to eat i'm just the like, main I'm thing just, is love each other every morning you get up and every night either eat, eat or order two pizzas the night before and slap them in the refrigerator that way you that's got right. something to eat when you that's get right. back. Right. or order a pizza right when you leave i love that's that right. yeah all right last <laughs> one julio from texas Awaleo. julio like this is a little bit opposite of the last one My high school girlfriend that I've been dating for a year okay, just broke up with me. Uh Uh-oh. Time invested, time lost. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Well, hey, look, I'm just being honest here. Okay. (laughs) Stop lying. So I just ran a cost-benefit analysis and said. Well, look, hey, (laughs) no, I got some good advice for him. You don't even know what his question is. Well, put the question You do know what his question is. The uh, the breakup wasn't on bad terms, but he feels a little lost and alone. He is a believer in Christ, but what do I do to cope with this? 
time invested. <laughs> the only thing I can tell you is, okay, it's like riding horses. If you get bucked off, <laughs> hey, put your foot back in the stirrup, get back on it, and try it again, boys. <laughs> hey. So, Sasa, run it back. Hey, that's yeah. it. I hey. say it's a summertime Look. and go fishing. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no. Hey. But Look, you life, do you. Hey. Honestly, okay, okay. I was, this is the serious part. Okay. Okay. It happens. Yep. Okay. There's a lot more beautiful women out there. Okay. And look, trust me when I tell you this, God has already got one picked out for you. It may be her or it may be another one. But there's a horse in the stable. Hey, but hey, look. Somewhere. She's in the barn somewhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so all you got to do is hang in there, my man. Okay. Go and when it. time comes, okay, you know, time fixes everything. And hey, look, I don't know if he's... the Bible even says in Ecclesiastes three one, there is a time for everything. Okay, right now there's a time to reflect and fish and be and fish, and then move on. Yeah, you in high school, be okay. Single. Yeah, you in high school, you're young. You don't okay. even know yourself yet. Yeah, you don't even know who you are. Yeah. Because, hey, I'm, 60, I'm 74, and I don't even know who I am. He thought he was 64 for a right. second. Hey, I think, hey, I think you're 10 years younger on this deal, boys. My man. But that's our advice to you, man. Hey, look, life's too short. I love you. Yeah. Everybody's going to hit a few potholes on their in their travels on this earth. Okay, hey, you know, if it busts a tire, hey, get your tire fixed and replace and move on. Go on down the road. There you go. Johnny D, you want to wrap this one up? <laughs> Not really. I'm having the time of my life today. My man done turned into a loose cannon. Okay? <laughs> yeah, boy, he I'm had on, a good nap. Hey, I'm on a roll today. <laughs> well, since it was the bird episode, <laughs> I can think of no better verse than Matthew 6, 26 through 30. You know how it starts? No. Look at the birds in the sky. By the way, Jesus is saying this. Pay attention. Look at the birds in the sky. They don't plant or harvest. They don't even store grain in barns, yet your Father in heaven takes care of them. Julio, aren't you worth much more than birds? Can worry make you live longer? Why worry about clothes? Look how the wildflowers grow. They don't work hard to make their clothes. But I tell you that Solomon, with all his wealth, wasn't as well clothed as one of them. God gives such beauty to everything that grows in the fields. Even though it is here today and thrown into a fire tomorrow, God will surely do even more for you. That's it, baby. Hey. Right Amen. There. That's where it's at. Love it. We'll see y'all next time right here. That's where Bye. it's at, boys.